Sounds like the food bell. Breakfast is served. Breakfast is served. Okay. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay. They just rang the bell across the way here, which means Christian Motorcycle Association is ready to serve breakfast and coffee. So let me go get my mug and we'll get this day started right. Keep this at home and keep us away from I'll take that one, please. And thank you. Yes, please. Oh, that looks so good. Thank you so much. Hi. No, I'm not. I don't touch your stuff. Oh, biscuits and gravy. You guys are spoiling us. Thank you very much, sir. Have a good day. All right, I just finished uh, my volunteering slot over at the merch tent. We are also in charge of the poker run slips there, but nobody has turned one in yet because there's two or three vendors that have actually not shown up and we don't know if they're going to show up. So we're gonna wait, but I gotta fill out a lot of these. It's not a traditional poker run where you go ride around. It's, <laughs> you actually just walk around and see all the vendors and get them to sign it in here. So let's go check it out and see what it looks like here on Friday afternoon at Two Broke for Sturgis. By the way, we will have a live band, I think at 7 p.m. playing there tonight. I do need to go get my patch sewn on and that's gonna be one of our stops today. Let's stop by the flask guy here. Oh, they have a whole book of patches to go through. And of course, I definitely want to look at all these. Heck yeah, I might, might find some new ones today. Let's see. I did find one I like, smile if you're horny. I like putting these ones on the back and then you hear people giggling behind you, you know? <laughs> all right, let's keep going. Here we go, Sassy's Old Fashioned Root Beer. They, they can't sell alcohol here, they didn't get a license, but they do have some root beer floats and some other bottles and stuff too. That's cool. <laughs> it's the Chill and Real. It's a koozie that has fishing line on it. So you can fish with your beer. You're literally using your beer mug to fish. That's hilarious. Never seen that. Okay. Also now the food trucks are open. The low and slow Biggie Barbecue Boy. Two add-ons actually, but we still need six. And one of them's here, old school stitching. They got someone sewing patches up there and they sell patches. So I'm gonna look through here, tell them what I wanna get done. I'll probably drop off my vest. What the heck? <laughs> crap burner. And he's literally using a barrel to burn crap. <laughs> I will never see this batch again in my life. I have to get it for three bucks. That's so me, literally a burn barrel, burning crap. Yeah. All right, we're doing games now. We're gonna do tug of war, uh, four versus four here. Let's see, it's warm outside though. Let's see here. Oh, oh, I was wrong. All right, I found some shade and I got some food, guys. Chicken tenders in actual tater tots. They are not tater haters at Two Broke for Sturgis. This looks awesome. Still windy, though. Still windy. All right, two of my vests are being worked on right now over there, so I'll pick those up in about an hour. I was talking about how warm it is, and then this lady nudged me, who owns this property, and said, you wanna go use our pool? You, you have a pool here at, 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 the, at the Two Broke for Sturgis event? Yeah, literally a freaking Intex pool. She said, because uh, I didn't bring any swimming trunks, she's like, well, you can just wear your underwear in there. I might. I, I might do it, guys. I don't feel good. Yep. I'm in my underwear. I'm in my boxers. <laughs> that's, what, that's what it's here for. A nice little touch. Nice little touch, Winslow, and a bait. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is comfortable. This is what my hot tub would probably feel like if it were out in the sun, because this is not a heated pool, but it's heated solar, and it feels really, really good. Oh, and then I'll be walking around in my underwear around here while I dry off, but, but, that, but that'll feel good too, I think. <laughs> I feel so much better. It feels like it dropped about 15 degrees outside, but it didn't. That's just, the, that's the, that's the pool effect. You know, if I were back at Taterland, I'd be doing this every hour on the hour for 15 minutes. <laughs> I think 
that purple tent over there, that's the cello shot camp. And apparently they're giving out free jello shots. Okay, okay, fine. Let me get my... Oh, but before we go, I was talking to... I'm sorry, I forgot the gentleman and the name of the... I'm going to show you there, the patch company. But this crap burner, well, that, that term, I guess, it's actually a military term for a specific job that soldiers did in one of the wars. They would have to burn the crap literally people's feces they would burn it in a barrel that was a job that's what this signifies so it's actually not gonna go on my vest because i don't want to mislead and say that i'm a veteran or i, I didn't know that. i just i just thought it looked cool so i'm gonna save it as, as, a, as a novelty three dollar patch that makes me smile but for the reference yeah i do understand what that means now and that's why it's not going on any of my patches by the way this uh, little h calorie fridge cooler has been on for 72 hours running on one power station and it is doing fantastic i've just today hooked up the solar panels outside the door to get a little bit of extra juice battery i think it went down to like 72 percent so i plugged it in and now we're back up to 90 so this setup is like permanent as, as long as it's sunny i'm not having a problem with my camera that i'm filming on right now but my iphone is doing something brand new and i'm not even using it that much it's like in my pocket but not only is it overheating and turning off but it can't even charge in the trailer it's getting too hot in the trailer when it's plugged in and cooled off uh to charge so ah oh, there's some shade thank you we need that i'll take it yeah oh okay short-lived so some people have been coming to this event for decades even though it has changed locations quite a few times but uh the purple tent here invited me over last night as you can see by their sign this is camp jello shot welcome well, let's go say hi over here oh my gosh that's a lot of jello shots you guys worked hard you gotta be gone by tomorrow night i'm gonna i'm gonna try one of those thank yep. you mm. Mm. all right i see him starting to set up some music gear over on the stage for tonight's live band That'll be good. Let's go check on my two vests. All right, I got them, guys. I'm gonna show you when we get back, but Top Hat did an awesome job here at uh, old school stitching. And if you look closely, I won't sew your pockets shut. I'm gonna show you, he actually fixed something that the Queen Creek place did. So, oh, we gotta lose all your pockets. He actually brought my pockets back to life. I have access to all of my pockets. So, uh, and Top Hat will be at Sturgis. I'll see you in August. See you Thank you, bud. I'm going to show you exactly what they look like when we get back. All right, my main vest with the beer drinker Harley Davidson on the back. Yeah, my abate patch is on. It only bothers me that it's so freaking white, but it'll be like this pretty soon. I might go rub it in dirt because it just looks so freaking new. And the new abate ones, they'll all say what state uh, that you're in it won't say the chapter like I'm high country chapter but it does say the state and this is the new one the old ones were significantly smaller than this it is definitely the biggest patch on my vest also I got a new one hi hater <laughs> um, I did have him remove the American flag because I didn't want to have something above that so the American flag moved up and the new one is right there and then Hakuna Matata the one I got today, smile if you're, you know, horny, and travel with no regrets. So that one's good. And then my travel vest, my custom embroidered patch there with me and the kitties, Nomadic Fanatic. The one I got a couple days ago at the Jack Rabbit Trading Post. Here it is. Uh, and Oatman, Arizona patch and my Grand Canyon patch. This is, this is my travel vest. Like this is more of the individual locations that I've been to that I, that I like and, uh, the blue whale and, and yeah, so I will actually start collecting more of the, the, the square funny ones to put on the edge and on the back of this one. Like I have this one, you know, but yeah, he did really good work. I'm going to collect some more patches and probably see him in Sturgis.
Heck yeah. Just like yesterday, a breakfast burrito with bacon, taters, and well, I call it SOS. <laughs> I'm gonna sit in the shade here and uh, I'll look. I think it's gonna be a cloudier day today. I love that they do the breakfast there at the Christian Motorcycle Association and free coffee. I didn't even need to bring my cooking stove. I haven't even brought it out yet. I haven't needed it. They got coffee. Also, the direct sunlight does not mesh well with my hangover. <laughs> huh. Oh man, it's gonna be okay. That was good. Um, before it gets hot, let's take Black Betty out for a little ride, see what we can find nearby. Much, much cooler today with the cloud cover. Good day to ride on uh, Black Betty. We're here in the abandoned town of Two Guns, Arizona. Very abandoned, an old gas station slash service station. Very colorful with art. Yeah, um, looking for something. I think we're gonna go on a walk, trying to find something. Back in the day, this would have been a very big Route 66 stop uh, attraction off the highway. A lot like uh, Twin Arrows down the road, which we've been to, which is now Single Arrow. But uh, I believe back here, this sign, I believe this was an RV park sign. And drive back there and camp right off Route 66. Wait, let's walk back here. Watch out for nails, scorpions, tarantulas, and rattlesnakes. <laughs> Yeah, I wanted to walk up here because it's been many years since I've been back and the old building used to say camp is gone, like gone gone. It's sad to see but somebody set fire to it. They burned it to the ground and well that's what happens when you just leave stuff abandoned and then idiots come along and she gone, but it looks like they're getting ready to reopen the campground pool. Yeah. Yep, they've been doing a lot of work. I think it's ready for water. What do you think? <laughs> Man, you got to just kind of take a step back and try to think what this was like in its heyday, you know? crazy okay so what's left of this still standing has an unfortunate name on google maps and i've always wanted to see it it's called an apache death cave yes there was a massacre here of the navajo people hundreds and hundreds of bodies were found it's a in this grave site or maybe that's a, that goes way down there. That's a cave, I guess. Hundreds of bodies. Creepy. Very creepy. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, let's get back on the bike and get back on the highway and go west. The faster we go, the better the air conditioning works on the bike. <laughs> I just, uh, just going to get out and have some fun. There's... I don't want to miss some things going on back at camp for the event, the rally. We got the bike games, the motorcycle games at, I think, 1 o'clock. So we don't want to go too far, but I do want to go up the mountains into Flagstaff. All right, I feel better now. That was a good ride, and it is definitely cooler. In fact, I'm going to check real quick. We're in Flagstaff at 6,680 feet, and it's 76 degrees now, a far cry from 99 yesterday. Yeah, this is where I'm gonna eat or snack and get a beer here at Dirty Birdies. Yeah. All right, Dirty Birdies is empty here at 10 a.m., but at least they're open. A lot of places don't open till two on the weekends. Pool tables. Yeah, I'm gonna check out their menu here and get a snacky poo for the road. Also, on our way back to camp, we have to stop at Twin Arrows. It looked very unusual. 
like I'll show you on the, on the ride back. A little, little dippy poo there with the pretzel bites and cheese. Okay, back eastbound on Route 66. We'll make a stop at Twin Arrows. Wow, they're making some changes here at uh, Twin Arrows. I love this place. Uh, throughout the years, I've stopped here many times. And you can almost tell when somebody uploads a new video from Twin Arrows Trading Post because there's there's got to be more paint and graffiti on this structure than Cadillac Ranch, okay? So you can tell when somebody paints over or changes the design, puts a new piece of graffiti, it's like, okay, that was probably filmed a week ago. No, that was a year ago. Uh, however, I have never in my life seen it completely painted white even the cafe. And I gotta believe this is pretty fresh because I follow a couple of Route 66ers and no one has shown this fresh coat of white paint. You can actually see the words cafe on top. A really great classic movie, Joe Dirt was filmed here. And uh, there is a brand new sign. Unfortunately, it actually already has graffiti on it, but this is Native American property. Please be respectful. No graffiti. And of course, people still can't help themselves. But other than that, it looks pretty clean. It looks really good, all white. Did they change the inside? Well, there's nothing to really do in here, but okay. I think it should be like this everywhere, not allowed to see. There's part of the old graffiti stuff, but you know, I think it should just be a, a national law if it's not yours and you don't have permission, you don't get to tag it. You don't get to put graffiti on it. I mean, I'm sure some cities do have ordinances similar like that, but that sign, if you're caught messing this up again, I hope there's cameras. They got the new casino across the street. I hope they put cameras, like zoom cameras on to help keep it looking nice. They want it to look nice. It's right off, well, this, this is Route 66, that, is Interstate 40. In fact, on the other side, that is the old off-ramp to get here from Route 66, which they closed it off. Like they literally just stopped all traffic from even visiting this location. And as stated earlier, Twin Arrows is only solo arrow these days. One day, probably soon, I'll ride by here again and that one will be on the ground too. <laughs> we gotta get back to Two Broke for Sturgis in Winslow because We've got the classic bike games. All right, we are doing the bike contest here. So we're gonna vote on the best bikes. First ones here are baggers. But I do wanna point out that there is a new entry for the cruisers, and that is Black Betty. <laughs> I doubt I'll win anything, but it's a pretty custom cruiser, you know, my slim. We'll see, we'll see. They're still counting ballots for the bike contest, and then we're going to have a blessing of the bikes at 1.30, so everybody else is going to bring their bikes into the arena for that. They also just announced uh, a mustache beard contest as well as a tattoo contest, and one of the categories in the tattoo contest is most realistic. And I think I'm going to enter in for my Jack's tattoo on my thigh. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be lots of good realistic tattoos, but I got a good one. He's a good boy. All right, we're gonna hear in a minute, they asked all of the owners of the bikes to stand by their bikes. And I'm hoping that some people voted for number 24 here. The award goes to bike number eight, Ramiro Castro. All right, at least I got a participation award. Yeah, Betsy. Ramiro yeah. in the red hat, in the red hat, Betsy Bulk, you're right, there he is. All last right, category of baggers. I think it's gonna be this Indian right is here. The best I think. Baggers. The best bagger award goes to bike number. This one? That's the one. I knew it. I knew it. Yep. Nice. Alright, we're gonna do the bike blessing and then we're gonna fire them all up at the same time here. Get ready? One, two, three, rev them up!
we're doing the tattoo contest here. Oh my gosh. gosh. All right, Brittany won for her one on the way. Okay, next category is realistic, and I entered back in with Jack's tattoo with realistic. Another realistic entry right here. By the way, they're uh, chalking up the lines. Something, probably the biggest event here at Abate uh, is the bike games, and I have entered two of them. I will be riding Black Betty with the keg pull and the slow whatever. All right, well, they announced the winner. It's Jax for most realistic tattoo at Two Broke for Sturgis. Awesome. All right, they're gonna do four at a time. And this is the, the keg push. You gotta carefully push the keg down your line. I'm in round two. animals in your lane it's a two-person ride so the, the passenger has to use the net to pick up as many of these teddy bears and other creatures as possible <laughs> this will be interesting the night before the wet t-shirt contest is it's another double rider and they're gonna suspend a wiener from this and raise it up and the passenger has to catch it in their mouth oh yeah this will be interesting they're putting mustard on the wiener it starts right now <laughs> it's gonna be fun and i went back to biggie's barbecue over there and got me another batch of chicken strips and tater tots because they're so freaking good i could live out here on this every day probably
did I mention this is an adults only bike rally? It is Sturgis quality at times and uh, Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and close this one out guys. I want to spend a little bit of time off camera We've got last train from Juarez playing right now over there gonna have some me time a little bit and not bring the camera And just kind of enjoy things here on the last night at two broke for Sturgis by a bait and I had an awesome time I guarantee you I, I will be back next year even if it's not at this location if things change I'm um, I'm down now. Now I'm a part of it. I love it. And we still got Sturgis in August. You guys be well. I'll see you in a couple days. Bye-bye.